The Beatles' last photo shoot at Tinhurst Park on August 22, 1969, stands a significant moment in the band's history, making it the end of an era. Tinhurst Park, located near Ascot, Berkshire in England, was the home of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. This final photo session, captured by photographers Ethan Russell and Monte Fresco, along with Beatles assistant Mal Evans, reflects the end of the Beatles' collaboration and the beginning of their separate paths. Tinhurst Park, which includes an expansive Georgian mansion, is set in 72 acres of grounds. It became John Lennon and Yoko Ono's residence in 1969. The lush, idyllic estate provided a serene backdrop, contrasting sharply with the internal tensions and external pressures facing the band. The property, with its rolling lawns, picturesque gardens, and tranquil lake that John Lennon had installed on the property, offered a visually rich environment, perfect for capturing the last images of the Beatles together. By August of 1969, the Beatles were navigating a period of significant strain. Personal differences, managerial issues, and creative conflicts had taken a toll on their unity. Despite their collective success, individual ambitions began to pull them in different directions. John Lennon's burgeoning relationship with Yoko Ono, Paul McCartney's desire for a more traditional band setup, George Harrison's spiritual and musical exploration, and Ringo Starr's growing interest in acting created rifts that were difficult to bridge. The photo session at Tinhurst Park was not merely a routine publicity shoot. It symbolized the culmination of the Beatles' journey as a band. Photographer Ethan Russell, known for his work with rock icons, was entrusted with capturing these final moments. The images taken that day are iconic reflecting the individual personalities and the collective legacy of the Beatles. The photographs from Tinner's Park showcase the band in various poses and settings. One of the most memorable images shows them standing at the entry to the Cape Dutch Cottage. The Krishna devotees called it the temple. Dressed in casual, late 60s attire, the Beatles appear relaxed yet introspective. John Lennon, with his long hair and round glasses, exudes his charismatic bohemian style. Paul McCartney reflects a more mature, thoughtful demeanor. George Harrison, often seen with a serene expression, embodies his spiritual journey, while Ringo Starr, ever the approachable figure, maintains a laid-back presence. Other images from the shoot include the band walking through the estate's gardens, posing with donkeys, lounging on the grass, and interacting in candid moments. These photos convey a sense of camaraderie and nostalgia, underscoring the bittersweet reality of their impending separation. The natural, unposed quality of the pictures adds an element of authenticity, capturing the essence of the Beatles as they were in their final days together. The Tinhurst Park photo shoot holds a point in place in Beatles lore. It was the last time the four members would be professionally photographed together before their split became official in 1970. These images serve as a visual testament to their incredible journey from Liverpool's Cavern Club to global superstardom. The shoot also marked the end of an era in music history. The Beatles had revolutionized the music industry, influenced countless artists, and left an indelible mark on popular culture. Their last photo session encapsulates the culmination of their groundbreaking achievements and the inevitable transition to their solo careers. Following the Tittenhurst Park session, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Ringo Starr each pursued solo projects, achieving varying degrees of success. The images from this final shoot were later used for the band's retrospective compilations and were included in documentaries, continually reminding fans of the Beatles' extraordinary legacy. Tinhurst Park itself became a symbol of this transitional period. When John Lennon sold the property, he passed it on to fellow musician Ringo Starr. The estate's history remains intertwined with the Beatles' narrative, adding another layer of significance to the photos taken there. 
In conclusion, the Beatles' last photo shoot at Tintner's Park is a moment frozen in time, capturing the end of one of the most influential bands in history. The serene setting of Tintner's Park provided a fitting backdrop for these final images, which continue to resonate with fans and historians alike. As the Beatles moved on to their solo endeavors, the photographs from that day serve as a poignant reminder of their collective genius and the enduring impact they had on the world of music. So, what do you think of these photos that were taken at Tittenhurst Park? What do you think their facial expressions, their body language, and the way they interacted said about their relationship with one another? Kindly let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. Please like and share and subscribe to this channel on whatever platform you are listening on. Kindly remember that I've written a bunch of books about Tittenhurst Park, as well as about the Dakota and Friar Park. You can buy any of them on Amazon or other booksellers. Please check out the links below to see various ways to support my research and productions. You can also watch videos about the Dakota, Friar Park, and Titner's Park on my other channel, Strange History X. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.